Hello, Internet. It is I, the Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to the channel, part 180. I don't understand what is going on. Like, with literally the past few cancel episodes are about things that I never thought would happen, or at least I didn't think would happen. It's, it's become, it's lunacy. <laughs> And this is another example of that. And sorry this video is coming out so late. Uh, I would have done it earlier today, but I watched Ant-Man 3. And I can't feel joy right now because that movie was so painfully blah. It just... I, I don't even want to talk about it. So let's talk about something better. <laughs> the Super Mario Brothers movie. Let's talk about that. Because that was the big news that happened today. So... Like, early, earlier, like, super early uh, today, it was announced that the Super Mario Brothers movie, its release date was changed. Before you say anything, it didn't get delayed, okay? It didn't get pushed back. It got pushed up by two whole days. So, instead of coming out April 7th, it's coming out April 5th. So, instead of Friday, it's Wednesday. That's it. But you're probably wondering, wait a minute, Malik, why would Universal make a decision like this? Like, what's, what are the benefits here? Like, what's the point? There is a point. Okay. It's part of a strategy. You see, April 7th, that whole weekend is Easter weekend. And in the past 10 or so years, we've seen big movies come out on Easter, particularly Furious 7. Um, Batman v Superman, Fate of the Furious. Those are the main, those are really the only ones. But all three of those movies made a lot of cash. So there's a lot of money that could be made over Easter, right? But I'm guess, but with this strategy, I believe it's the exact same strategy Godzilla vs. Kong had two years ago. When that opened on um, Easter weekend, where they're like, we could release this on a Friday, but we could release it earlier and build momentum towards Friday. So I guess the game plan here is release it Wednesday, create some momentum, create some buzz. And Thursday, that's when, you know, good stuff starts happening because kids, you know, this movie's primary demographic, well, besides adult fans of Mario, <laughs> but kids, like, they don't have to worry about school the next day because they don't have to go to school April 7th, or at least on Good Friday. Unless you're in college, like I was, I had to go to school anyway, <laughs> and it sucked. But, yeah. You know, kids don't have to worry about, you know, a school night. They don't have to worry about that. So, you build more momentum, and then Friday, no school, and every and kids, just a bunch of people, go to the movies on Good Friday. Good Friday is a great day, <clears throat> a great day for the box office. And then the rest of the weekend, everything crashes. But that Friday is great. It's basically how Thanksgiving weekend works, more or less. <laughs> Where Friday, like the day after Thanksgiving, that Friday is massive, and then it just crashes immediately afterwards. Same thing happens here, pretty much. So, yeah, I I don't blame Universal for making this decision. I I have a very strong feeling that this movie is going to be a big money hit. <laughs> it has so much going for it. Like this could have this could have ended horribly. It could have gone the same route as like what the original Sonic movie, like the route that was originally going to take before they changed it last minute and they redesigned Sonic and then the movie ended up being a hit. And when, when people found out about this voice cast, people were like, oh no, people expected the absolute worst. And then they saw the trailer and were like, wow, this looks good. <laughs> It's almost like people were disappointed that it didn't look like trash. I was disappointed it didn't look like trash. I I couldn't laugh at it because it actually looked legitimately good. And it's still looking good. Like, all the marketing material is pretty solid. And, you know, with no real direct competition, like, I see this being a big hit. I mean, this is from Illumination. 
Like, they've had so many hits under their belt, it's crazy. Like, their hit to miss ratio, box office-wise, is probably the best out of any animated animation studio out there. Even more than Disney and Pixar. <laughs> it's madness. So, yeah, I see this being a big player at the box office. I, I can see it being the biggest video game movie of all time. Both domestically and worldwide. I think Sonic 2's record just might be shot. <laughs> And I think the record for Worldwide is Warcraft. That's going to get shot too. So, yeah, I, I expect big things out of the Super Mario Brothers movie. And I can't wait to see it too. It looks really good. Even with Chris Pratt as Mario. That's, he still sounds weird to me as Mario. But besides him, I think the movie looks like super solid. Can't wait to see it. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. I mean, just all that happened. But I'm like, it's Super Mario Bros. movie. I might as well talk about it. I might as well give it its own cancel episode. So, yeah, that that's it. And I pressed the wrong thing. All right, that's it. Um, there's literally no point in me making predictions for like what will happen to movies anymore. Because I'm almost always wrong. I've been pretty much wrong for the last uh, bit of time. Like the last few months, I think. So let's just look through the calendar anyway. March. Why would anything change? <laughs> Nothing should change at this point. Uh, then you got April. There's Super Mario Brothers movie on April 5th. Right? Same day as like Air and On a Wing and a Prayer, whatever that is. So yeah, it's the main change here. Apparently the Pope's Exorcist was supposed to come out the 7th, but the 14th. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I'll make my prediction video on it, and then I'll. That's when I'll talk about it in detail. I'm not gonna dedicate a whole cancel episode just for that. No, <laughs> no. But yeah, everything else in April should come out realistically. Um, May, same thing. I don't see anything changing. They got June, same thing, pretty much. I finally saw the trailer of Indiana Jones 5 or Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I finally saw the trailer for that in front of Ant-Man 3. It looks... Passable? I, I don't know how to describe it. It could be total trash. And it might just be total trash considering Lucasfilm's uh, track record. <laughs> um, recently, how they handled the sequel trilogy with Star Wars. So, who knows? But I'll watch it. Even if it is a dumpster fire, I'll probably still watch it. Probably because I, I need something to do <laughs> during that time. And then you got July. Everything here looks fine. Sh shouldn't really change. August, same thing. Sub you know, you got September, they haven't added, they haven't changed the Paw Patrol, the Mighty Movies date yet. I imagine they will eventually. Then you got October, which is super dead now. And then you got November, then December, blah, 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 blah. I already talked about this yesterday. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Salem's Lot just feels like it's never going to see the light of day at this point. Um, I'd be shocked if they actually say something about it. Then you got... 2024 january the february march you want we already looked through this <laughs> just a whole bunch of stuff and it's just whatever whatever well except avatar 3 and sonic 3 can't wait for that <laughs> showdown to go down should be great um i think i 2025 obviously 2025 there's a lot of time to fill up that calendar and they will fill up that calendar just give it another year or so and it will get filled up so yeah and that's what the next two years look like i don't see any real red flags i mean part of me feels like blue beetle won't make it but i could be wrong <laughs> we'll see um but uh yeah that's what it looks like so yeah uh, that's it that's all make sure to subscribe like this video Leave a comment, turn notifi turn notification, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this? Got playlists on the homepage. All previous cancel episodes I made.
you know, on the channel, like all 180 up to this point. Last time I talked about Super Mario Brothers, it was a long time ago. Super Mario Brothers, where is... Okay, last time I talked about it was episode 119. I talked about that alongside Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Okay. Um... Yeah, and I'm looking at the description, and I just, and oh man, my, I poorly predicted both of these movies. I I described it as, like, I wanted to see how much of a potential surprise slash disaster it could possibly be, but now I gotta wait until next year, cue sad anime music. And second, Puss in Boots The Last Wish, the sequel we all want, said very few people, uh, got pushed to Christmas 2022, so there's that. If only I knew how good Puss in Boots 2 would really be. I had no idea. I had zero expectations at that point. So I'm, I past me looks really stupid <laughs> right now. But yeah, that's episode 119 is when I last talked about the Super Mario Brothers movie. So if you want to watch that episode and any other cancel episodes I've done recently, you know, or in the past, you want to binge them all from beginning to now, I highly encourage it. So go do that. There's also box office predictions by predict box office for movies this weekend. I have three movies to do. Creed 3, Demon Slayer to the Swordsmith Village. That's how I'm going what I'm gonna call it. And Operation Fortune. So stay tuned for those three. But if you want to watch any of the past prediction videos I made this year or any other years I've been doing this, you can go right ahead. And uh there's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. February recap should come out next week. It's going to be weird. Very weird. Because <laughs> the month didn't quite go the way I thought it would. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past uh, recap videos I made on the channel, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.